Yes, it can hear you. Okay, just so you know, it can. All right, so now, this is gonna be part two of this review. Okay, so I'm starting at 14, working my way backwards. So last night, I asked you guys to finish the review, go home and finish it, so we can come back in today and answer any of the questions. Okay, so for what we're doing right here, we're gonna start on this one. So now, which of the following can prove K maps onto K prime? Circle all that apply. So for this right here, Okay, so if I have this, so now k on to k prime. So k to k prime, what is that gonna do? How do I get that? Reflection across. In, yeah. Reflection how? Reflection across x axis. Excellent, man, that's it, perfect. Reflection across x axis, there's one right here. Now, can I rotate it counterclockwise to get that? <laughs> If I rotate it counterclockwise, will it put my image exactly like this? No. No, it will not. So I'm going to, bam. Will it reflect across the y-axis and get the same thing? No. No. Nope. Here's the y-axis. That would put me over here. So that's going to be a no. Rotate clockwise around. So can I rotate it clockwise to get the exact same shape? I, I heard a yeah and that. No. So if I rotate it this way, look at carefully. Okay, so it'll go this way, and then it'll go this way, and then this way, right? So it it's not going to be the same shape. It's not going to be the same shape. If you guys want to check it, look at your patty paper. Okay, you can do it with your patty paper. You can draw it, sketch it, and rotate it around. See if you get it. Okay, so that one is going to be a no. Okay, translate four units down no. no that's a slide no there is not a transformation that maps k on to k prime yep. did we get one that is there is a yes right Actually, no, that's wrong. There is not a transformation. Oh, no. That one's a no. Why? Who said, who said yes? You got me there. Master, good good joke. You got jokes. Good joke there. You got me right there. You got me right there, Master. All right. So my answer right here is going to be only it's going to be reflecting across the x-axis. Yes? Okay, very good. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. 13 is... Oh man, I cut out some of the words. I hate when it does that. Uh, 13, it says, oh, is these two? So it says, is E, F, G congruent to yes. P, U, R? Yes. yes. You said why yes? Because there's a rotation. It's a rotation? Is it rotation? No, uh, reflection. Reflection, there we go. It is a reflection, so it's going to be a reflection how? Across the x-axis. Excellent. Reflection across the x-axis. That is a chance, right? <laughs> there we go. Reflection across the x-axis. Is that a rigid transformation? Say yes. Yes. It is a rigid transformation. Okay. All right, so now let's take a look. Let's double check my work. If it's a reflection across the x axis, here's the x axis. So up here, it's up one, right? This one has to be down one, up one, down one. This one's up. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. So this one has to be down. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. So they do match, right? Okay, they do match. Please, when you do this one, double check that it is a reflection because they'll probably try to trick you on one of these. So you have to count to make sure that it is reflected the right amount of squares. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at the next one. 
Okay, number 12, draw a shape in the space below. Perform two out of the three transformations listed on your page. Now, I think on this one I added my own graph. Yes, I did, I added my own graph. Okay, so now draw a shape. Let's take a look. So if I'm gonna draw a shape, I'm just gonna draw something over here. So I'm gonna draw a triangle. I, I drew a graph on here. Perform two of them. What two do you want to do? What do you want to do? Translation. You want to do a translation. <laughs> translation where? <coughs> you want to do what? Across the y-axis. Across the y-axis. Would that be a reflection or a translation? Reflection. That would be a reflection across the y-axis, right? Okay, let's do a reflection. So we're going to do a reflection. So if I call this one my A... So if I'm reflecting across the Y, let me see, it's three over, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, and right here. So this would be my A prime. Okay, so now we gotta do another one. What do you wanna do? Rotation. Rotation, where do you wanna rotate it? One hundred eighty. Okay, let's do a rotation. So let's rotate it. So this reflection, y axis, and then rotation. And he wants to do one hundred eighty degree rotation. Okay. So if it's one hundred eighty degree rotation, what's the rule? What's the rule for one hundred eighty degrees? It should be in negative, your handy dandy. Negative x, negative y. Negative x, negative y. You guys agree? Yeah. It should be in there. everyone's handy dandy right now because it's going to be on the test. So, let's take a look. So, this one right here looks like it is negative 3, positive 3, right? So, if this is negative 3, positive 3, it will end up becoming positive 3, right? And negative 3, so it should be right here. Yes? So, if I rotate this, is this correct? No, it's supposed to be right here. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have one person with the yes. I have another person who likes to comment and likes to actually say yes and add to my stuff all the time. I'm just looking at your college one. Oh, okay. I'm just curious. Where would you put it? Oh, all right. Oh, what's that? Do you need another one? No. Oh. All right. Anyone else? I got one yes. 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 A couple more yes. Thank you. Man. Seriously. All right, anyway. All right, so we have that right there. So now, is your pre-image congruent to your image? Yeah. Are they congruent? Yeah. Yes, they are. If you did your transformation correctly, yes, they will be. Now, for what reason can I say that? It's one phrase to get full points, you have to have these words. Okay, so that's the definition. Of what? It starts with the R. Rigid. Rigid transformation. I, that's basically. So if you do a rigid transformation, there it's always. Because translation, rotation, reflection are all rigid transformation. The only transformation that is not rigid is dilation. And we're not even doing dilation in this unit. You have it on your, your handy dandy, just so you know what it means, but we are not doing it. Okay, so that is a vocabulary, but it's not one that we're working on right now. All right, questions? 
Okay. That like seriously, those words get you, you know, points. All right. So number eleven. So ABC is rotated 180 degrees and then translated according to this. So if it's rotated 180 degrees, I already had the rule, right? So it's going to be x comma y is going to become there we go there's my negative x negative y so therefore it's going to be here and right you gotta rotate it first right yeah it says rotated and then translated so rotation first so we have that. Okay, so what's my next one? So that's 4, 1. So that means it's going to be negative 4, negative 1. Okay, and this one is going to be, let's see, 4, negative 3. All right, so it's negative 4, positive 3. 2, 3, right here. There we go. So this is going to be called my... First image. Did it have points on there? Because I don't recall that it, if it had points. No, no. It didn't. It just said that it was triangle ABC, right? Yes. Okay. Number 11. Actually, it did have points. So this was A, this is B, and that's C. I didn't copy those down. Sorry. All right, so A prime. B prime and my C prime. Now, let's follow the second part. It says, and then, and then, what's this called? This is called doing the what? Translation. Okay, <clears throat> translation, and it says X plus three. What does that mean now moving? Right. To the right three and very good, right three, up two. So it's gonna be one, two, three, one, two. There's my C double prime. Each unit is doing the same thing. One, two, three, one, two. B double prime. One, two, three, one, two. A double prime. Wow, Joy, uh, I hate what does that. Uh, can someone help him out? What is the rule for 90 degrees? Which direction? Which direction? Uh, yeah. Huh? This doesn't what? Are you okay here? So draw both images. Did it say put our points? It didn't. It, it's asking for it on the graph. Okay, questions before I move on? Can we do this with the light on or do we get messed up? Uh, we can do it with the light on, but it's it, 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 uh, both of, either clockwise or counterclockwise will give you the same position. So both of them, you know, will give you, you know, th think of it like this. You ready, TJ? Yeah. So if you rotate yourself 180 degrees, you're going to be facing backwards, aren't you? So if you move to the right or if you move to the left, is it going to matter? No, because you're still going to be just facing backwards, right? right? So that's what that means. Are we okay here now? All right, so let's take a look at number 10. All right, so number 10, the vertices of these triangles. Graph the pre-image and its image after the following translation, followed by reflection over the x-axis. So let's start by putting my points on there. 
So A is negative 4, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. B is negative 1, 2. And C is negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, right here. One second, there we go. Yes? Yeah. All right, so let's take a look. It says, now that's going to be my pre image. Pre image and image after following translation. So we're going to do the translation first, right? So, in words, what does that translation say? Thank you. Right two, up one. Right two, up one. Right two, up one. A prime. Right two, up one. B prime. And right two, up one. C prime. So it is going to kind of overlap here. Okay, so now it says reflect over the x-axis, right? <clears throat> reflect over the x-axis. This one right here is my x-axis right there. So that means it's going to end up flipping down, isn't it? Okay, so flip that down. And this one right here is going to go two down from the axis because it's up two. That goes down two. So there's C double prime. B is one, two, three. So one, two, three. There's B double prime. And then A is going to be one, two, three, four, five, right? So it's going to be. Okay, so let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Right here, right? Yes. So that's going to be my A double prime. Now, is this asking for my points? No. It's asking for it on the graph, right? So please make sure you label it on the graph. Make sure that your prime is all labeled and your double prime is all labeled. That's how you get those points. I've been a stickler about actually getting everything correct each time. So please make sure you follow through with that. Questions, concerns, complaints over that one. Can I say something just like this? Yes, it's really close. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. So we're going backwards, so this one's gonna be nine. Okay, so. Okay, so give me one second. We already did number nine on my previous class, so I don't need to record nine again.